The city of tomorrow hums like a living circuit. Neon veins, data rivers, towers thinking faster than you can blink. Now, zoom in, past the skyline, past the glass and steel, down to a single glowing chip under a microscope. Here's the shock. Researchers at Johns Hopkins have uncovered a new chemistry for building microchips, not a tiny tweak, a different playbook, a way to grow and pattern materials at the atomic scale. Smaller, faster, dramatically more energy efficient. Think of silicon, like the world's best motorway that's slowly filling up. We've shaved lanes thinner for decades. We've stacked bridges. We've rerouted traffic. But physics keeps pushing back. Heat leakage cost of squeezing one more lane in. This new approach? It's like building magnetically precise rails, atom by atom. You place what you want, where you want it, with fewer defects and less waste heat. Circuits shrink, signals travel shorter distances, power drops, speed climbs. Picture atoms bonding like puzzle pieces, snapping into place with chemical cues rather than brute force lithography. Now imagine wiring paths that curve in three dimensions, connecting layers like a skyscraper of logic, each floor closer, each elevator faster. Current chips run hot and hungry. Your laptop throttle? That's heat saying enough. With this chemistry, the same task could sip power instead of chugging it. For AI, that means bigger models on smaller devices. Real-time language vision creativity in your pocket without the battery panic. Compare it like this. Today's leading chips sprint at nanometer scales, but every sprint costs energy. The new material system trades sprinting for gliding. Less friction, less heat, more endurance. Quantum computing? It craves materials that play nicely at the edge of physics. Clean interfaces, fewer defects, precise control. Better chemistry means better qubits, better interconnects, fewer errors. Consumer electronics? Cameras that compute in the lens? Glasses that translate speech and overlay knowledge quietly. Consoles that render worlds without sounding like jet engines. Data centers? Imagine rows of servers where light speed data paths and low leakage layers slash cooling bills. Same footprint, more intelligence, and AI itself? Training that once demanded warehouse scale power could move closer to your desk, maybe even your phone. New architectures become possible when the rule book changes. Is this tomorrow morning? No, it's a pipeline from lab to fab. But the reason the industry is buzzing is simple. This isn't just smaller, it's smarter. Chemistry as code, atoms as design, zoom back out. The city flickers brighter, devices whisper instead of roar. Intelligence moves from the cloud into the fabric of everyday life. The next iPhone, the next supercomputer AI itself, all could change because of this.